Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. Um, we're having a fantastic day up in Newcastle, as I think you can see from outside. Um, today we're going to talk about um, Serverless 360 and a new feature we've added about reprocessing an event-grade dead letter message to an API endpoint. So we need to go through a couple of slides just to explain what this feature is all about. So if you're not familiar with Serverless 360, it's an event enterprise grade monitoring and management platform that can sit on top of your Azure solutions and the idea is to lower the cost of ownership by making it easier to support the solution. So the feature we're going to talk about today is in the business application area, so this one here, and that's really about uh, making it easier to support the day-to-day -day operations of a solution. We also have other great features such as business activity monitoring, Azure document uh, and cost analyzer. Now, the solution we're going to talk about today is one where we have a logic app that submits messages to an event grid. And then we have this um, sort of fan out scenario where the event grid, will, um, the topic will push to two subscriptions. Um, both of these currently will have a logic app that listens to them. And in, in the real world, you might have something like a logic app that processes to Salesforce, one that does to SAP, something like that. And the challenge around this solution is really around when there's errors. So let's imagine we publish one event, two interfaces get it, but this one over here gets this error. And what would happen is one of the features on an event grid is this, this one goes through fine. This one will keep retrying the message for however many times you configure it. And if the error keeps continuing, eventually, if you configure the um, dead letter capability on, a, on an event grid, it'll dead letter that message into a storage account. And then you just build up this, this container with messages that couldn't be delivered. And the question is, what do you do with them? So let's assume that the error over here at SAP side's been fixed you have the, the option to resubmit the message. Now in Azure, we find that the capability for resubmissions um, not really very mature. It's quite awkward to be able to do it. So one of the things our customers um, use a lot is the ability in Serverless 360. So you could have your support user could be over here using Serverless. They would, um, on the event grid subscription, they would be able to see the messages in the dead letter container in storage. And then at the minute, you've got the ability to resubmit to the topic. But the, what that means is everybody then gets the message. Now, that's the default resubmission for us. You know, you'd resubmit to a topic. It would fan out again or it would pub sub, depending on how you've done your filters. But everybody gets a, a replay of that message. Now... Sometimes you want the ability to only resubmit. So if you remember this one failed, you only want to resubmit to that system that, that failed to get the message. And that isn't really supported out, out the box with us here. So we've built a feature in Serverless 360 where as well as resubmission to the topic, you can define an API endpoint. And in this case, we would choose to resubmit it directly to the Logic app. Now, one of the things to remember here is in, in your architecture, you have different components with different capabilities. Now, if you're building a logic app, you do have the option with logic app resubmissions to potentially manage the resubmit here, which is one of the reasons why a logic app is sometimes a really good choice for your listener. But there's other times where you don't have a logic app. So maybe you've got a function. Um, maybe you've got a custom API that you send it to, and there can be another bunch of options. Um, with the Logic app, it's really easy to demo this scenario, but um, if, it, if, for example, you're resubmitting to a function, you don't have any durability, so you can't resubmit from the function. Or with the Logic app, you may just want to be able to manage, um, you know, in the Logic app, it's difficult to see which ones have been replayed and which haven't. So it can... Um, you know, having that queue in your dead letter to resubmit from can be beneficial as well. But basically with Serverless 360, we've added the ability to submit back to an API endpoint instead of submission back to the uh, to the topic. So that means that only the people who didn't get the message delivered would replay it. So in this case, SAP would get the message, but Salesforce wouldn't get a replay of the one that failed. We have a look at a 
uh, demo of this in action. So over here in Serverless 360, you can see I've got my uh, tree view in the business application area that represents my architecture. So I've got my integration platform. So as well as all of my different apps for the different business areas, um, here I've got some feature demos that just show how specific features in the product work. So we've got this one that looks at the event grid retry. So we can see in the service map here, you can see I've got my logic apps, I've got my um, topic and my subscription here on an event grid domain. And then I've got my listener logic app and I've got my storage account that represents where my dead letter uh, messages go. And you can see I've got some dashboards set up for, um, you know, for some basic metrics like logic app runs and events um, process and stuff. Now, just taking a step back for a moment, let's go and have a look um, at the logic apps that we've got. So we're going to simulate the demo on the slides, but in a simpler form. So I've got two logic apps. I've got one of them is um, a simple logic app that sends a message to the event grid. So we just use the publish event action here. You can see I've got some data and I've, because I'm using an event grid domain, I've got to specify the topic um, here as well. And then I've got a listener logic app that will get messages when they trigger off the event grid using the webhook action. Um, so I'm going to receive a message with the HTTP trigger and I'm basically just going to do a check that lets me force an error or force a, um, a success. So in this case, it's currently configured where the logic app will return an error. and That will throw the message back to the event grid so it'll retry and then it'll eventually dead letter. So here's the storage account. We've got um, some storage containers here. So you can see I've got my my messages for any that have dead lettered. So you can see I've got a, a few in here already. Um, and then on the, so we go to the event grid domain here. So I've got a, a domain topic down here. I've got a couple of subscriptions. And then these ones, um, you, you can see it's configured to send it to a logic app down here. My filters are all the defaults. My advanced features have configured dead lettering to go to that storage account. And, um, and it's going to make a couple of attempts to deliver and then it'll dead letter it. So if we have a look um, quickly in our sender logic apps, if I just run this, we'll send a message and we should see the... Um, the logic app here listening it, it kind of got the message it got a retry and that message will eventually get um, dead lettered by the event grid so you can see here we've got um, it opens up it comes through and it goes down our error path now what I'm going to do is um, over in the event uh, sorry in the logic app here I'm just going to fix that logic app now so it should return success so we'll in that false. Let's give that a second to save. Okay, so if we have a look in Serverless 360, so you can see my event grid demo here went to a warning state. So I've got um, I've got configured some monitoring. You can see my logic app um, flagged up its its warning here about failed runs. Um, you can also configure monitoring if you want to um, do it on the, the subscription. I think at the minute I have um, default monitoring, which is probably a bit higher than an individual message before it'll flag. But you can configure that up or down depending on when you want it to trigger the warnings and errors. Um, if we go and have a look in the event grid here, so you'll see in my dead letter messages, there's a bunch of messages that are kind of showing up as dead letters. So the one that we've processed today, I think, will be this one down the bottom. And what I want to do now is resubmit this message. So from here, I can do the default option, which will resubmit it to the event grid topic. So that will make everybody get a copy of that message again. So in our um, slide before, you'll remember that meant both interfaces would get that message, whereas we want to only submit it to the one that failed. So what I can do in my um, listener logic app is I can just get the the URL for my logic app and I can go over to serverless 360. And I can choose to have an API endpoint for resubmitting. And then what I can do is resubmit that message. 
and you see it just goes through the resubmit cycle and over in my listener you'll see that resubmitted to the logic app and this time it would have went down the success route and and that was all good so what we did here was we resubmitted the message direct to the endpoint so in this case it was a logic app but it could have been a function or it could have been um, some other API that you might have built that you want to receive your messages from Event Grid, and um, and that really just lets you have that other option rather than the default resubmitted to an Event Grid topic. You can resubmit it to the endpoint that you want to receive that message. Thanks for listening to today's video about Serverless three hundred and sixty. Um, if you'd like to try it out, please use the QR code on the screen. Feel free to um, shout us up on Twitter and other social media platforms. Come and have a chat with us about the things you're doing with Azure and we can talk to you about some of the guidance we have on our website that might be useful to you and how Serverless 360 might help you to support your um, solution on Azure in the real world. Thanks for listening.